So YouTube, got a few mowers here. Now, the one on the far left is the Honda HRU19R. On the far right is a good old Victor VC Sports. And the one in the middle is the big girl. It's a Rover Duracut 955SP sporting a big 196cc overhead valve engine. Uh, I've not seen any videos on this machine except for on um, say the, uh, the Rover Australia website. Other than that there just don't seem to be any videos. The other two mowers there you can see there's plenty of videos I know what you're saying, um, it looks like there's not much light there at the moment and you are 100% right because every time I decide to do a video the light starts to disappear but you know this is reality, uh, it's the time I get to do these things so um, uh, yeah too bad. Anyway we're going to have a um, just a closer look around this thing. Um, I'm going to try and give you some specs. Now, in the, the operator's manual, there's not really much, um, so much information in here. There's no information on the drive system, there's no information on the deck, the wheels, the height adjustment, <laughs> the catcher, anything. There's, there's no information at all. And I've looked um, over the, the Rover website, I uh, can't find anything um, uh, that's, you know, given me decent information. And um, I'm not sure if you know, but um, Rover was, um, it's an Australian company. It was founded in, uh, I think it's the late 1950s up in Queensland um, in uh, 2010. Uh, a company called uh, MTD, uh, who's in, uh, based in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, they bought Rover. Uh, so Rover mowers are still being produced. Um, they're being produced in China. Um, the motor says made in China. All right, so I'm going to pull the Victor and the Honda out of the way. And we're gonna do a little bit of a 360 around the thing. Uh, after that, I'm going to read you some specs, just some specs that are on uh, the Rover Australia website um, and give you a little bit of, just a little bit of information about it. Like I said, there's, there's very little info out there uh, and if you know, if you know where there's some information, put a comment down below and um, help us all out. So. Over on the left hand side here, um, as you can see it's got a bright red shiny deck and um, seems to be very flat uh, compared to like um, the Honda and that Victor where it's got that big scooped up side on the right hand side. Um, so now did I call this the left or the right hand side? I forget. But anyway, while we're over here, let's look at the back here at the wheels. So, can you hear that? It's a plane. It's been like, I don't know, 10 or something go over while I'm trying to do this. I thought it'd be quiet this afternoon, but anyway. This side, uh, back wheel here, it's uh, stated to be quite big, uh, eight inches. 8 inch diameter. Front wheel's a 7 inch diameter, but you, it's hard to see the difference there. Um, now, you can see the motor there. As I said before, um, big 196cc motor. When I look on the back, it is a Zong Shen motor. And it was produced in this this one in particular was produced in the fifth month, 2021. It's cutting width 53 centimeters, uh, so it's a pretty wide cutting width. Um, 
has a 67 litre mesh bag uh, for catching. Um, now on this mower, it looks tiny. Uh, when you look at it from front to back, um, it, it's a small looking bag. It has a built in mulch plug, uh, we'll show you that as well. Uh, it's in the that little door at the back there. So all you have to do is have the door closed and you're mulching. Um, so it's um, cutting height, a maximum of 95 millimeters height, and then a minimum of 31 millimeters. Now on the cutting height, you can see uh, this is different for Australian lawnmowers. Um, most Australian lawnmowers have just one lever to uh, change your cutting height, but this has got two. Not four like the American ones, but it's got two. So um, now this mower is what is it? 39 kilos. So I don't think that's with fuel in it. The fuel tank is 1.2 liters. So add another kilo and a bit. So I'll just show you. I'll I'll operate those height levers. In the back one first. That's maximum height, and then you're going to have to hold it up a little bit, pull it out, lower it down. As you can see, you can kind of, I don't know, make it like it's landed one way or the other. Um, I don't know, that might be good for, I don't know really, if the grass is kind of longish, and you just want to sort of, I don't know. Go through it like that. Now the front is on six, so there's six positions. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, six positions on the back, six positions on the front. So again, lower it right down. There you go, nice and low. The dipstick is a fine gauge aluminium with the little plastic measuring bit on the end. This little spout where the dipstick goes down into the engine is plastic. Uh, while we're here, this is your side chute, so you can uh, throw the grass straight out the side. It has a extra part to attach, I'll grab that and put it on. This is the extra part to help guide the grass. Hooks up under there, sits there, and it just directs the grass straight out the side. So that's pretty cool, uh, built in, um, which is good. Um, Normally you need to get a utility motor itself to get that feature, so that's a pretty good feature there. Um, steel deck, down the bottom here, it's rolled in about five millimeters. The exhaust is in here with a little shroud. And on the back side of it, there's another kind of heat shield. So looking from the front now, left side, is the exhaust muffler then looks like the spark plug there just here yeah that's the spark plug there's a big metal shroud around it that's pretty cool i suppose it'll protect it from damage i'll leave it off for now um, access to your uh, overhead valve through here then the carburetor section with the primer pump and it recommends three pumps of the primer to get it started and it's uh, very soft rubber and as you pump it you can hear it sucking the air I don't know if you can hear that left side we've got the air box here there's two clips on top. Push down and it pops down. It's got a small lug here that fits into these little holes. So there is your air filter. And behind there is the carburetor. We don't need to pull that off today. Fuel tank is in here under this gigantic plastic cover. 1.2 litres of fuel, and they recommend no more than 10% ethanol. Here, this is where I think is a probably pretty 
substantial weak spot is the mount here for the bars is all plastic. Now you can tighten this. There's a little screw and nut down through this plastic bit holding it in place. But when you when you're pushing it, there's a fair bit of flex from the top of the bars down to this point. So it could work in two ways. Um, it might break or it might absorb a lot of um, impact and bumps so it might be easier on the hands, I don't know, uh, time will tell. That's the cable going into the throttle carburetor. Uh, this cable up here is your engine brake. So it's got an engine brake and not a blade brake which means once you let go of the lever the motor cuts off. This cable down the bottom here that goes to the propulsion system which is at the front so it's a front wheel drive which is handy because you can lift back and maneuver it around pull it backwards and it's just going to free like roll over here you got all your warning stickers danger don't put your hand in there while it's running on the back uh, it's got serial number down here you've got your compliance plate which is actually just a sticker um, so it's a um, got its model number which is the model number is 12A dash B1R6333 and uh, unfortunately it has in big writing here made in China with global maintenance uh, global materials it's got some information about the importer MTD Australia and they're based in uh, Dandenong South Victoria and that's it for the stickers now underneath like I said the mulch plug built in and it goes into this little cavity here this is really bizarre it has this whole section cut off so it's like it's not a half shoot maybe it's a uh, two-thirds of a shoot but there's nothing behind here the gearbox isn't here the gearbox is up front so why they've put that there, I don't know. It's just, there's a void up under there. And like I said, this is all plastic. So who knows, maybe on the next model, they might just open this up because they could and put um, metal uh, brackets here for your height adjustment and holding on your uh, handlebars. Anyway, I shall lift it up so you can see the deck underneath. Here we are underneath. Now, the uh, blades, four blades, they're all swing back blades. So, if it hits something, something bad, they're quite, yeah, quite easily move around. Um, the base of the cutting plate here, uh, I don't have the measurements for that, but it's a little bigger than my hand. Now something good under here is, I'll bring you in, is this plastic here is covering the shaft, the main crank shaft, going up into the motor. So um, it's going to stop a lot of crap going up under there. You have these uh, wing nut and screw that you have to put in to hold it in place it's got three adjustments so this is just the middle neutral adjustment up the top here you got your control levers so this bottom one is your drive and the top one is your engine brake so you got to hold that on you can see the little lever, not lever, bit of cable going in and out as I move the um, engine brake lever. Good old um, Rover style throttle. Um, what I found when using it, um, low RPM is about here, going down to here doesn't really do anything. Um, so maybe it uh, needs some adjusting 
uh, not too sure, but up here is um, you've got choke, and I think that's your choke. You can just you might hear that. That's a choke, and then that's full RPM. So uh, when you're turning it off anyway, uh, you're just going to um, be operating or killing it with this lever. So that's uh, what else? Uh, just here, this little eyelet here is where you would put your pull pull start. Just quickly, I didn't show you the top, but this is the top down view big red plastic cover over the top of the starter assembly and then there's your um, Rover sticker that's the only sticker on it that really shows off that it's a Rover I'm going to make some noise now and start it I'm not going to be able to cut anything because it's gotten too dark um, once again uh, but I'll run it up and down the grass using the um, propulsion system just so you can see that working look forward to a video of it uh, cutting some grass pretty soon thank you like share comment subscribe take care guys stay safe yeah, I don't know if the first video I've done on this is going to be usable because hear that hear that dog that dog will not shut up Later.